Algebra 2, Lesson 62, Complex Roots of Quadratic Equations. Alright, so uh, not much is going to change in how we solve our quadratic equations. We're still going to use all the same, excuse me, we're still going to use all the same steps and methods. Uh, we're just going to run into some complex numbers, which might be confusing for some, which is why this deserves its own lesson. So, in the practice problem, they give us this quadratic, and they want us to solve it by using complete the square. Uh, first things first is it's out of order, and if we're going to use complete the square, we want to get the whole number on the opposite side of the equation. So, uh, if I subtract 3 from each side, and then I reorder these numbers in descending order, I then have 5x squared minus x uh, equals negative 3. From there, I have to get rid of this coefficient. Remember, we can't have a leading coefficient, so I divide everything by 5. That we cancel, that turns into 1 fifth. So now I have x squared minus 1 fifth x, leave a blank space for my complete the square, equals negative 3 over 5. And then I'll leave a blank space for our complete the square. Now to complete the square, we're just going to take our middle term, or sorry, include the sign, our middle term, negative 1 fifth, get some working space up here, and I'm going to divide it by 2, which is the same as multiplying by 1 half which gives me negative one-tenth, and then I take this number and I square it, which gives me positive one over one hundred. So I add one over one hundred to each side. From there, this can now be factored, and it's going to factor into x minus one-tenth on each side. And this side we have to add these fractions. So 5 goes into 120 times. We multiply each of these by 20. 3 times 20 gives us 60. So this would become 60 over 100. Or negative 60 over 100. So negative 60 plus 1 gives me an answer of negative 59. So now we've got negative 59 over 100. We rewrite this left side as 1 parentheses squared. Hold on, I got a phone call. Okay, um, so what was the last thing we did? Okay, yeah, so we rewrite these as 1 parentheses squared, uh, and then we're going to take the square root of each side. Now this is where we run into the complex numbers. So this side still becomes easy, it's just going to become x minus 1 tenth. However, on this side we have a square root of a negative number. The denominator is really easy, that just becomes 10, however the square root of negative 59 cannot be, we can't have a negative square root, so then we rewrite this as the square root of 59i over 10. Again, we're using our, our imaginary numbers or our Euler notation to get rid of that square root of negative 1. So now we have square root of 59i over 10. And then the last step here is we're going to add one-tenth to each side. Zoom out a little bit more. That cancels, and then we get x equals one-tenth plus or minus the square root of 59i over 10. And that is our final answer. So again, uh, same complete the square steps as usual. We're just adding this uh, imaginary number when we get that negative square root. So whenever you have a complete the square and you have a negative square root, don't forget to separate it as an i.